Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel. First time you're passing through, you can put the thumbs up, the thumbs down, you can share, you can subscribe, you can interact with my fellow subscribers. And yes, that's about it. Um, today I wanted to talk about um, the new law that's coming out, well, it's being enacted in January 2021. I came across it because I was listening to one of my many, many videos and it said that uh, immigrants who are in the UK not earning 25600 could be deported. And I'm like, OK, I know that people coming into the country under this new points based system you have to be earning 25,600 uh, or you can earn 20,480 but you need to have the points that kind of bump you up so suppose you get a job that's offering you somebody sponsoring you they're prepared to give you 20,000 but you have a phd for example that could top you up and you don't necessarily need the 25,600 but this was talking about people, immigrants already in the UK. So then I thought to myself, how would that work? So if, if the plan is to have highly skilled staff in the UK only, highly skilled workers in the UK only, only those people who are earning 25,600 or more, given the proviso I gave you a little while ago, then that means that immigrants who are already in the country, even though they're legal and they haven't been here 10 years and they're not earning 25,600, could be asked to leave. That is what my understanding of what this person was saying on the video. Now, that's kind of scary, isn't it? Because 25,600, that's like, that's quite a lot of money. And for the average John Joe, the average worker, I mean, half of those NHS workers, the nursery nurses, the community nurses, they're not getting 25,600. They're getting about 21,000 to 22,000. Maximum probably 23,000. They're definitely not getting 25,600. So what does that say for start people here who haven't got their permanent status but who are not earning 25,600? I think... People need to see somebody who can give them more advice on that. I really do. Because you don't want January the 20, 2021 to come and they're talking about, OK, you lot who are here, you're not earning this amount, so you can't stay here. We're only catering for people, a certain calibre of people who are earning this amount of money. I understand that as long as you're in the country for 10 years or more, or you've been in the country for 10 years or more, it won't apply. But if you haven't been here 10 years or more, and you're not earning that amount, my understanding only, I'm not an authority on this, you need to get immigration advice. But my understanding is that as of 2021, that will be the situation. Um, immigrants earning less than 25,600 may be deported from the UK when the multi-year programme of change led by the UK Home Office comes into force in January 2021, unless they can show their occupation is in high demand. And still then, they will be required to show a job offer from an approved sponsor. A lot of workers will not be able to meet that threshold, including nursery nurses, Bantry community nurses working for the NHS and a lot of other people working for the local authority. I don't think, you know, when they're offering this threshold, I don't think 
somebody who, like Boris Johnson, who earned 13 million in under a year. Priti Patel, who earns £1,000 an hour. Sadiq Khan, who earns £150,000 a year. How can they possibly relate to what an adequate threshold is? I mean, they do not realise how little, what little earnings people receive these days. And for them to um, say that 25,600 is the threshold, when you need nursery nurses and you need lots of, um, not social workers, because they earn more than that, but, you, you know, like trainees and all of that, they're not going to be, they're not paid that amount of money. EU and non-EU citizens will be treated the same, i.e. points-based um, and that means you have to have the equivalent of A-levels and above. A-levels ain't easy, but you have to have the equivalent in order to build up your points. The more, the more qualifications you have, though, even though you're prepared to do a lower job, the more likely you're able to come in. I suppose you've got a PhD, but then they're saying you have to have a job offer. It's going to be difficult, peeps. Difficult. Okay, EU and non-EU non citizens will be treated the same, i.e. points-based system, and a salary offered of no less than 25600 unless they can trade off points, in which case they can have an offer of no less than 20480 and then they can trade off the points. Now, if they can trade off the points for, I mean, there's a series of points that you can get. I think age is one, English language is another. Um, so technically, nursery nurses could get in and other um, council staff could get in because I'd assume that they'd have A-levels if they've reached the point of becoming nursery nurses and so forth. They have to have some qualifications, don't they? And then I'd assume they'd have a good command of English because that gives you a lot of points. Your age gives you a lot of points. If you're under a certain age, you get a lot of points. So it might not be that difficult if you if you can accept 20,480 because at least that will give you a little leeway. I think the 25,600 is a bit high. But the 20,480, that's, that's workable. So this is fine for people itching to come in, workers and students. But what about the immigrants already working in the country, but here less than 10 years? Will they be forced out if they don't meet the 25,600 threshold or alternatively the 20,480? Settled status is now unsettling. Originally, the government wanted a threshold of 36,700. It was then lowered to 30,000. A petition saw it lowered to a further 25,600, which is where we are now. So, like I said in my previous video, um, it doesn't seem to be what the work, what the person is doing, the employee is doing, more what they are, um, how much they're worth financially. And when you think, like they were talking about all those immigrants that they're putting in the coronavirus wards, I mean, I bet you, well, I don't know how highly skilled they are, but they might just be nursery nurses. Well, they wouldn't be nursery nurses. They might be community nurses. I don't know what they are. But the fact of the matter is, is that I don't know if they're on 25,600 and they're risking their lives. They're putting their lives on, on the block to look after all these victims.
It's a bit like Florence Nightingale, isn't it? That's what they should call them. So yeah, the people that keep the wheels running get the lowest pay and then they get shut on, don't they? People just don't appreciate what they're doing. It's like when they're talking about, you know, like apparently agriculture and farmers, they're allowed to come in as low skilled. They're usually from Romania and Eastern European. They're allowed to come in as low skilled. They know there's nobody here that's going to be doing that. Picking bloody berries or whatever they pick. They know that. So you see, they met, they're quite clever, you know, because they make exceptions where they need to make exceptions. So, yeah. Um, that's all I really wanted to say about that. I'm not going to kind of stretch it out. I just wanted to kind of put you on the alert, just in case, um, when all this is over. I mean, you've still got till January, still quite a way away. You could check it out. Check how secure you are with this new, what do they call it? Multi-year program of change. See, with me, it was 149 pages. I'm not about to read 149 pages, but um, I did hear the information off a UK immigration website. So that's why I'm sharing it with you. Um, and I then try to look for something specific in on, online. And even when I put in multi-year program, it's just pages and pages and pages. That's why I'm saying don't take my word for it. I'm not an authority. But just check, because if what they're saying is they only want immigrants in here, in this country of a certain calibre, it could mean that if you're in this country and you don't have those qualifications and you haven't been here for 10 years, it could mean that you could be a bit vulnerable. That's not that's not definitive. That doesn't mean it's true. It just means I'm just telling you to check it out just to make sure. You don't want to wait until January and then you find out, oh, my good, you know, I'm in a kind of a tenuous situation. I didn't know. Nobody said anything. So once you have the reassurance and they say, oh, no, you're fine, whether you've been here two years or three years, you don't have anything to worry about, then I've done my part. I've just raised I've just raised the thought. I've just put it out there and I leave it for you guys to research and find out all the information you need. OK, and that's all for now. Bye bye.